Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Just because a composition is strong doesn't mean it's easy to pick up and play. And although you see some compositions in tournament play or even at the top of tier lists, it doesn't always mean that's the default easiest or even best composition to play in order to reach Gladiator. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the easiest compositions to specifically reach Gladiator level ratings, walk you through what makes them easy, and give you a basic understanding of how the composition works and plays. Also, if you are serious about increasing your rating this season, be sure to check us out at skillcap.com slash wow. Over the years, we've seen people go from challenger to gladiator all by implementing the lessons we teach in our videos. In fact, we are so confident in your results that we're the only service to offer a money back guarantee. Our class courses teach you the fundamentals you need to master your class in PvP, and we have hundreds of exclusive commentaries featuring matchup breakdowns directly from the best players in the world, including the ones you'll see in this video. On top of that, you'll also gain premium access to our Discord server, where our team of pros respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $4.99 a month if you are truly serious about improving. Okay then, in no specific order, our first composition is going to be Retribution Paladin Arms Warrior, specifically played with either a Restoration Shaman or a Restoration Druid Healer. This composition is one of, if not the most standout cleaves we've seen this season. It takes the huge burst potential of a Retribution Paladin and pairs it up with the consistent pressure, mortal strike effect, and defensive utility of a warrior. What makes this composition so easy is that every single member on your team is incredibly difficult to kill, primarily due to both Retribution and Arms Warrior bringing a ton of team utility. You've got Intervene, War Banner, Rallying Cry, and even Disarm from the Warrior, and then the healing from Word of Glory coupled with all the blessings of a Paladin. The strats for this composition are very simple. You're going to want to select a target and both connect onto it, aiming to pump out consistent pressure. You can then do easy to achieve setups with a Hammer of Justice onto a healer and a Storm Bolt onto your kill target, which is about as advanced as it gets, with the warrior helping the Retribution too during Avenging Wrath, either by keeping the target locked down in a Spear Bastion or buffing his damage with Necrolord Banner. This is the easiest composition to play for both warriors and Retribution Paladins. The next comp on our list is for Ferals, Hunters, and Disciplined Priests in specific. Yep, you probably guessed, we're talking of course about Jungle Cleave. Jungle Cleave has been a staple composition for all three classes for some time now, and it's only gotten easier over time. Now, with most Hunters playing Beast Mastery, this composition focuses purely on sustained damage output. Both Feral and Hunters do overwhelmingly strong consistent damage. You combine this with the instant crowd control coming from Freezing Trap, and you have both a very easy to play and also strong composition. Jungle Cleave prefers to always focus on going damage dealers, saving its crowd control for healers. You want to keep your consistent damage or damage over time effects rolling and then look for crowd control chains. The difficulty in this composition comes with securing Freezing Traps. As the Hunter can only trap out of Intimidation Stun every minute, it's up to the Feral to assist him giving either maims or bashes to help secure traps, following them with a Psychic Scream or even Cyclone if possible. It's also always nice to have some lockdown on your kill target coming from maim, but in general, the high amount of damage and crowd control can quickly force enemies to run out of cooldowns, and at lower ratings, there is a high chance of overlap, as seems we'll have to trade something out for every freezing trap. Next up, we've got what could be considered the hardest composition to kill in existence. Warrior, Shadow Priest, Restoration Shaman, or Druid, this is especially the easiest composition for Shadow Priests. How this composition works is that you have two naturally very durable specs in both Shadow Priest and Arms Warrior. Then both these specs go on to also help each other. So you've got, just to name a few, Mass Dispel, Shields, Off Heals from the Shadow Priest, Intervene, Disarm, War Banner, and Rallying Cry from the Warrior resulting in you having an answer for pretty much everything defensively, especially when you combine it with the inherently already strong defensive cooldowns all the specs in this composition have. For being considered such a defensive composition, you would think this composition lacks offensively. Well, you'd be wrong. Offensively, you combine the consistent damage of both a Warrior Shadow Priest with the instant crowd control coming from the Shadow Priest. Most kill setups will involve some burst coming from the Warrior in either a Spear Bastion or even just elevated times of pressure. You'll then look for a Psychic Horror into Silence into a potential fear on the healer, whittling down most enemies and eventually either winning with overwhelming pressure or just by outlasting. But in general, you can't really mess this composition up. It, for the most part, plays itself. One of the only weaknesses of Windwalkers is how easy they are to kill. Well, what better way to gloss over that than giving them the best support class in the game, Warrior. Our next composition is Windwalker Arms Warrior Restoration Druid or Restoration Shaman. 
This composition is like Turbo 2.0. You combine the high consistent damage of a warrior with the ridiculous burst and also consistent pressure of a windwalker, putting enemies in a constant state of near death panic. One of the major weaknesses as mentioned with Windwalker is their ability to survive, making a lot of the more meta Windwalker compositions a lot harder to play. As you're heavily reliant on kiting and using your mobility well in order to survive, picking up a warrior allows for a lot more leeway, giving you those added defensive options. This then opens up the ability for you to play a lot more aggressive, which is exactly what you do in this all-in cleave. Pick your target and just aim to do consistent unhealable pressure, throwing out paralysis, storm bolts, or intimidating shouts on the enemy healers whenever you have some pressure, if you're not going on them that is. Coming up next, we've got a composition for you rogues and mages out there, Rogue Mage Holy Priest. Rogue Mage on an easiest list? That's blasphemous! Well, hear us out. This is specifically with a Holy Priest, and is the easiest composition for all three specs involved. Now, when you think Rogue Mage, you know there is some setup involved. I mean, there has to be. It's the nature of the two specs. Thankfully, adding a Holy Priest makes the daunting task of securing a setup a lot easier. All it takes is something as easy as a DBM timer, so it can be done even if you're not on voice. The reason we said Holy Priest was due to Chastise. This means every one of your setups becomes foolproof. Do your countdown, chastise one target, stun another, and then Dragon's Breath the third into a polymorph, and voila, you have your setup. This turns what's generally considered a hard to play composition into easy mode. From there, you can then look to extend the crowd control and burst your kill target. Simple, easy, and effective. This next composition is one which is quite new in 9.1 and is the result of two adaptations in players' builds and covenants, Balanced Druid, Windwalker, and Restoration Shaman. This composition takes a Kyrian Balanced Druid with the newly added Kindred Spirits legendary and then specifically a Necrolord Windwalker Monk. You combine the two and you have an incredibly easy to play both offensively and defensively composition. The reason for this is the Kindred Spirits legendary, much like a warrior, helps to aid in Windwalker's survivability, giving them a pass passive 8% versatility. As Windwalker's best stat offensively is versatility, this composition also really packs a punch, as every time the Balanced Druid pops their Kyrian Empowerment with a 1 minute cooldown, both players get 16% versatility. Meaning just as you thought Windwalkers couldn't burst hard enough, they end up one-shotting you. Combine this with the instant crowd control of a Balanced Druid coming from Root Beam and you have a very strong and easy to execute composition. How it plays is around a 1 minute timer using the instant crowd control of Paralysis and Root Beam to secure crowd control onto healers while bursting targets with Kyrian Empowerment and Bone Dust Brew. As long as you're pressing these abilities during the same window, it's honestly enough damage to kill even through healing cooldowns or defensives, or can very easily cause uncoordinated teams to overlap defensives, which happens very often at Gladiator level ratings. Remember when we said in the start of this video that strength didn't necessarily have much to do with this list? Well, our next composition is testament to that. Turbo Cleave, old fashioned warrior and enhancement paired up with almost any healer, yes, any healer can play this composition, even Mist Weavers and Holy Paladins, two of the weakest healers in the game. Why Turbo Cleave can have success, even with any healer, and quite frankly, while having an enhancement shaman as well, is due to the rush down nature of this composition. The damage and burst it's capable of is just so overwhelming that if you can do your damage rotations correctly and select a good target, you can cleave your way up to gladiator level ratings with relative ease. The warrior helps again to combat the defensive weakness of the enhancement, and then the enhancement brings huge burst coupled with also going on to increase the damage of the warrior. You don't really need any tips on playing this one, just pick your target and cleave away. Have your healer and warrior throw some instant crowd control when you have pressure and aim to ride that momentum. Alright guys, that's what we consider the easiest compositions to reach Gladiator on for patch 9.1. You may be thinking, but what about my class? There isn't a composition for me. Well, if you play a spec we haven't mentioned yet, there isn't a composition for you that we would consider easy to play up to gladiator ratings, but alas, we're people pleasers here at Skillcapped. So here are the easiest, yes, I'm doing air quotes if you couldn't tell, compositions for the specs we haven't mentioned yet. Death Knights have TSG, so when paired up with a Warrior and ideally a Restoration Shaman, this isn't easy because there's a lot of setup involved despite being a cleave, and if you're not doing those setups well, you'll struggle heavily versus a lot of popular cleave compositions. Warlocks have Shadow Play, which is Warlock, Shadow Priest, and Restoration Druid. This isn't going to be an easy ride if your Druid and Warlock are not on the same page. You'll die very fast and often, as well as struggle to kill, but if you perfect your kiting and cooldown usage, it's more than Gladiator viable. 
Elemental Shamans are not in the strongest spot right now and can die to a lot of the meta compositions quite easily. As a result, their best composition for Gladiator is Elemental Boomy Restoration Shaman. Balanced Druids can assist you with added versatility and also assist by peeling with Cyclones, focusing on doing setups every minute with Stormkeeper and Kyrian Empowerment. And then last but not least, we've got Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters Road to Gladiator won't be too easy, as you die so fast to a lot of the popular cleaves, but one composition you have at your disposal is Windwalker Demon Hunter, with either a Druid or Shaman Healer. This can be a great rushdown style composition, looking to focus down enemies with your instant micro CC and high pressure. Okay then guys, on screen now you'll see a recap of all the compositions listed in this video, and the bonus comps at the bottom. Remember, this is purely for reaching Gladiator. These comps are not necessarily the strongest, but they are, in our opinion, the easiest. And if you think there is any composition we missed or disagree with any of our recommendations, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this type of video and want to be updated the second we release any new content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. For now though, thanks for watching and good luck on your goals this season. We'll see you in the next video.